Hi, I'm Tim Teleki, founder of InOut Labs. When it comes to drug testing requirements, there are a lot of them, but we're going to talk specifically about the federal motor carriers, uh, the DOT regulated truck drivers, primarily those with those that hold uh, commercial driver's licenses or CDLs. The, there are six requirements that employers have to um, uh, make sure they have covered in their, their testing programs. Number one is a written policy. This written substance abuse policy must cover 13 specific points uh, that are in the regulations. Um, I will list the, I will put a link below to what, what it needs to be what needs to be in the policy. Um, but if you don't have a policy, let us know. We work with an industry expert to get you a custom, affordable, and DOT compliant policy. The next thing that's important and required for uh, DOT regulated employers is supervisor training. Uh, this is a training program to make sure that supervisors understand the signs and symptoms of substance abuse, uh, an hour on drugs, an hour on alcohol, uh, what to do about it. Um, it's uh, required one time, but it's a good idea to do refresher training because when those situations come up, you want to make sure supervisors are prepared to deal with them. We offer live training in person uh, and also have an affordable online uh, supervisor training program that will provide the documentation that you need in the, in the event of a DOT audit. Again, there will be a link below. Employee education. Employee education. Uh, is materials that, that you need to provide to every uh, regulated employee, every driver, let's say, um, that tells them how the drug testing works, what's, uh, what's included in the process, what to expect when they go for testing, how, how they, they deal with uh, the different circumstances that might come up in a drug and alcohol testing program. I should mention also that employees also need to be provided a copy of your company policy so they know what the company expectations are and what the consequences are if they fail or refuse a, uh, a drug test. Speaking of testing, testing. Um, testing is uh, under DOT is conducted under a number of different circumstances. The vast majority of it is for pre-employment or for random testing. Make sure you understand what random testing is. But every uh, CDL must be enrolled in a random drug and alcohol testing program that meets current uh, DOT, in this case FMCSA, um, random testing requirements. Then there's the SAP, a substance abuse professional. If a driver uh, fails or refuses or somehow has another violation of uh, the DOT substance abuse um, regulations, uh, the employer is responsible for referring him or her to a SAP for treatment and a follow-up program. Uh, so if you go to hire somebody and they fail the test, yep, you don't have to hire them, that's fine, but you're still obligated to provide a SAP referral. Um, and then the, the sixth requirement, which is the newest, is the FMCSA Clearinghouse. This is a national database of all drug and alcohol violations for FMCSA regulated employees. So let's just say CDL drivers. So if somebody fails a drug test, uh, a federal drug test, under FMCSA, that result is recorded in the clearinghouse. That driver is not qualified or permitted or otherwise allowed behind the wheel of a commercial motor vehicle uh, until that violation is cleared up through the uh, return to duty and follow-up process. I'll include links to what that involves below. So all of these different uh, requirements, um, we didn't make them up, uh, but we will give you the tools you need if you are our client, uh, to make sure that you can keep your company in compliance with the regulations. Uh, my name is Tim Teleki from In Out Labs. If you like what we have to say here and you want to stay up to date, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Again, my name is Tim Teleki from In Out Labs. Visit our website, inoutlabs.com. Thanks.